At 50 years of age, and I'm 59 now, so I'm very aware of it, we have more life behind us than ahead of us. We want to make the best of the years we have left. Of course, we don't just want to live longer, we want to keep our health too. What if I told you if you're 50 years old right now, doing these five things could add almost 8 to 12 years of quality life, and those of us over 50 can benefit too. This study was done in the U.S., where the average 50-year-old man has almost 30 more years to live. Women still have a sky to beat with over 33 more years to live on average. They looked at over 44,000 men and over 78,000 women, and they followed up on these people for 34 years. They looked at five healthy lifestyle factors. The more health factors you have, the longer you'll live. At 50 years of age, if you don't have any of these lifestyle factors, and add one, it would increase your lifespan by about two years. Adding all five could increase your projected lifespan by 12 years. The one that had the largest negative effect on health and longevity was smoking, which is strongly connected to an increased risk of cancer, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and death. So if you're a smoker, today is a good day to quit. The amount you smoke makes a difference too. If you're a man and you smoked in the past, before the age of 50, on average, it will reduce your lifespan by close to three years. On the other end of the scale, if you're 50 and you continue to smoke 25 or more cigarettes a day, it can shorten your life up to 12 years. The second factor is how much moderate and vigorous physical activity you do. The more active you are over 50, the better your life expectancy is. Doing as little as a half an hour to three hours a week could add almost three years to your life and doing five and a half hours or more a week has the potential to add over seven years of life. To qualify as moderate activity, you need to work hard enough to increase your breathing and heart rate. An activity like mowing the lawn or a brisk walk would qualify. We can get even more out of our active time if we engage in a structured program that improves our strength and protects and builds muscle mass. Physical weakness is associated with mortality. If you want to learn more about how to build ageless strength, I'll leave a link to a free guide in the top comments. The other area we want to work on is our VO2 max. This is not only an indicator of cardiovascular fitness, but also one of the best predictors of life expectancy. The area with the next biggest impact on our longevity was having a healthy BMI or body mass index. I know many people aren't fans of using BMI, and it has its weaknesses. Although for the general population, it seems to be quite accurate. But if you really don't like BMI, then I would suggest using waist to hip ratio as it has been proven to be an excellent indicator of long-term health. This study though used BMI and a healthy range is between 18.5 and 24.9. Those who are outside of this range between 25 to 29.9 on average will lose over three years of life. And the ones with a BMI of 35 or higher lose almost six years. Being physically active and having good weight management significantly reduces the risk of diabetes and cardiovascular risk factors like high blood pressure or high cholesterol. Nutrition ties in quite closely with maintaining a healthy body weight. So it's no surprise that diet quality makes the list and it's the item that has the fourth biggest impact on our longevity. They use the Alternative Healthy Eating Index to determine what constitutes healthy eating. This index is based on whole foods with an almost vegetarian-like emphasis on fruits and vegetables, whole grains, nuts, and healthy fats. Those who scored the highest at 50 added almost four years to their lives. I'm a big fan of my veggies, but as a weight training guy, I also put a solid emphasis on high-quality protein sources, including chicken and beef. I think the best takeaway we can have here is that we should eat the highest quality food we can afford. The fifth thing they found, and I must admit, it confused me for a bit because it wasn't the result I expected. Those who didn't drink alcohol, non-drinkers, lost two years of life, which was the same for those who drank 30 or more grams of alcohol a day. The groups that drank on average between 5 to 29.9 grams of alcohol daily didn't lose any life. This would indicate a small amount of alcohol may actually be beneficial for longevity, but we're talking about a very small amount. Five grams on the low end is only about a teaspoonful. On the high end, 29.9 grams is a little over an ounce. To put this in perspective, a standard drink contains about 14 grams of pure alcohol. That'd be a 12 ounce beer, five ounces of wine, or one and a half ounces of hard liquor. 
of all these lifestyle factors, the one that has the greatest impact on healthy longevity is physical activity. Watch this video next to find out how getting fit and building muscle can reverse the harmful effects of aging and keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.